Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley will travel to Washington on Sunday to further lobby for Caribbean banks not to be stereotyped. In Barbados on Wednesday, Dr. Rowley indicated that Caribbean banks are assumed to be involved in certain activities, such as offshore banking, although the majority, including Trinidad and Tobago, are not. He said it could have implications on U.S. banks doing business with banks locally. At the Piaco International Airport on Thursday, Dr. Rowley said banks are nervous about what this could mean and he's hoping to have further discussions on the issue. For things that we are not guilty of. If you are going to accuse us of money laundering, if you are going to accuse, accuse us of terrorist financing, then the legislation should require that there ought to be evidence to support those allegations. You can't just take action against us because you think that by the way we are, or how we look, that we are in fact friends of terrorists. Dr. Rowley revealed what this could also mean for the average person. It is a very serious threat, and the outcome could be far-reaching. So um, I, I, I have only heard of this one instance where either some arrangements are being changed, but the, the local banks are very nervous. And that is why they are there with the CARICOM saying something has to be done about this. Because if it happens to us, the consequences will be grave. And as I said, at the level of the small man, it is that you won't be able to cash a check outside of, and you can't do a transaction. Prime Minister Rowley is expected to travel to Washington on Sunday. He will spend a week discussing several issues, including the banking issue.